Hey guys, my name is Batsumio, and today I'm excited to say that Ubisoft has finally made an announcement that they are taking a much firmer stance against cheaters in Rainbow Six Siege. You may have noticed over this last couple of months that things have kind of escalated in this department. You have players that are teleporting across the map and taking you out from behind, you have people that are tracking you through walls, the normal stuff, and then there's my favorite new one, where you have people that are literally planting the diffuser in their spawn on offense. This of course ruins the experience for anyone involved and thankfully Ubisoft realizes that this is becoming a serious issue and they're taking a lot of steps to try to minimize this as much as possible. And so the first big thing is that in the next couple of weeks 600 people are going to be banned for using a boosting service. If you were someone who hired out or had someone group up with you who you knew was cheating and they basically won a bunch of games for you so that you could get to platinum or diamonds, uh, you are probably going to get banned in the next couple of weeks. Even though you personally we're not using a third party software, you're clean. The fact that you were queuing up with someone over and over and over again so that you could get a higher matchmaking, that is where you're gonna run into problems and you probably will get bans. Another big thing that Ubisoft is gonna be doing is they're gonna go into their own infrastructure and their own architecture to be able to figure out how these hacks are being created and then fix those loopholes. For example, I believe they've already gone on in and made it no longer possible for offense to spawn and then immediately plant the diffuser, which is fantastic. And so if they're able able to detect how these hacks and cheats are being generated from the source a lot faster and then quickly address it, that should go a long way so that these cheats are not as viable for as long. Probably the biggest change that Ubisoft is making though is that they're going to be adding in a two-factor authentication if you want to play ranked. Now they haven't said when they're going to be implementing this new policy, it is their primary focus right now, but essentially this means that if you want to play ranked in Siege, you're going to have to add a cell phone or a phone number to your Uplay account. You're going to have to log in with your password and also a phone number. The reason why they're adding in this extra step is first of all for security, it makes it a lot harder for people to actually actually get into your Uplay accounts, but this is also another barrier that people are going to have to go around if they want to continue to cheat in this game. If you're someone who gets their account banned and you just want to buy another $15 of the game, the starter edition, well, if you then try to link that new account with that old phone number, it's going to realize, hey, that phone number was associated with an account that was cheating, they're just going to ban you again, like instantaneously. And so while it's not insurmountable for someone to be able to get another cell phone number, like that is possible, but it is an extra barrier. It is another thing that's going to detract people from doing it from the very beginning, and I really do believe that it is going to have a big impact on the problem. Now, one thing that I was not expecting whatsoever, though, is that it looks like they're exploring the viability and feasibility of implementing restrictions on the amounts of MMR or the amount of rank that you gain or loss if a cheater was present in one of your matches. From the looks of it, if they discover that someone was cheating and hacking, and they get that account got banned, they're gonna go through all of the games that they won or lost, and then depending on what side you were on in that situation, you're probably going to gain or lose less MMR because of that. Now, I'm not exactly sure how all of this would work, but from the looks of it, if you went against a bunch of hackers the last couple of weeks, you might log on in and discover that you didn't lose nearly as much rank as you first expected. You might get an MMR boost. If you were someone who was unfortunate enough to actually be playing with someone that was hacking, you might log on in and have less MMR. Now, I don't know how everyone would be on board with that idea, but it does look like that is something that Ubisoft is exploring. Uh, another option that they're looking into is putting restrictions on the skill gap of party members while queuing into ranked. If you're someone who is diamond and you queue with a friend who's all the way in copper, that's probably not the best matchmaking experience. And so what they might go on into the future is making it where that's no longer longer possible. Now they haven't gone into the specific details on how restrictive these rules are going to be. I'm hoping that they don't go too crazy with it because I feel like someone who was gold four should be able to queue up with someone who is in low platinum. I feel like the skill gap there isn't too crazy, especially with how the matchmaking works. Like I've, I've had played with friends who were platinum one season and the next season they're all the way down in gold four or even high silver. It's like 
Is it their skill or is it the matchmaking? And so having it where we're one season, I can't play with them over another because of the matchmaking would be a bit frustrating. But I do think all in all, this is a good direction as long as they're able to do it properly. I think this will be overall a good step for Rainbow Six Siege. In general though, I am really excited about all of these changes. I fully understand that this is a problem that Ubisoft isn't going to ever be able to solve entirely. It's just kind of a fact of life of playing FPS games, especially on PC. But I'm glad that not only Ubisoft is listening to the concerns of the community, which is fantastic, but also making, I believe, some really significant improvements to try to solve the problem as much as possible. Uh, but yeah guys, that is about it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you thought about what we discussed in today's video. Are you happy with the direction that Ubisoft is taking with this problem? Are you a little bit concerned with the two-step authentication? I know some people have brought that up. Let me know down below. Uh, but yeah, until tomorrow, have a good one and take it easy.